Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how you can import and animate your actor core characters in NVIDIA's Omniverse software. We'll explore a couple of different ways to do this. If you're not familiar with Omniverse, please make sure to check out our introductory tutorials for how to install and get started. In the Omniverse launcher, you'll be able to find an actor core item in the exchange section. Actor core is constantly being updated with new actors and motions, so be sure to check back regularly to find new and interesting assets. Let's look at the simplest way to bring an animated character into Omniverse first. Once you have an actor core model selected, you can then go into the motion section to find a whole library of thousands of motions. In this case, I'm just choosing a generic talking motion. Next, you'll want to click on download. In the download settings, you can download the model along with the motion simultaneously by selecting it from the list of models first. From there, selecting the Facial Blend Shape option allows you to enable facial animation in your target software. We're using Omniverse here as a target tool, so let's keep everything at 60 frames per second and proceed to download. After the download, you'll find two separate folders, one with a USD for your actor and the other with a USD for the motion exclusively. We're going to use the Machinima app in the launcher in this scenario. I'll start off by finding the USD file for the actor first and dragging it into my stage. Please be aware that dragging a USD will add it to your stage, while double clicking on the USD will actually replace the entire project. Next, I'll drag the motion USD into the stage list and it will present as a separate item. You can then drag that motion item to the proper character and play back to see it in action. Let's see what happens if you apply the motion to a different character now. After I bring in this child actor, you can see that the result will be incorrect as the motion is not targeted to the different body proportions. So let's take a look at how we can retarget animations in Omniverse so that they can be applied to other characters with different proportions in the scene. Here I'm choosing multiple motions to download and I'm going to select the generic male dummy as our retargeting reference. I'm also going to download this child model to use later. In Machinima, I'll start by dragging the male dummy character to the stage first, which is the source rig for the motions, and then proceed to also bring in the child actor. If you don't have your retargeting window open, you can find it under the Windows Animations menu path. In that window, you'll first want to select the male dummy character as the retargeting profile from the skeleton field at the top with that character selected and then proceed to do the same thing for the child character, so that each will now have their own retarget setups assigned to their respective models. Next, I'll drag this pose animation into the stage. From there, if I right click, I have the option to go to Add, Skeleton, and apply an Animation Scale Binding API. From there, in the Scale section of the Property window, you'll want to add the first target skeleton we created for the male dummy. This retargets that motion to the proper character rig. Now when we apply the motion to the character in our viewport, we'll get the correct results. You can also apply the motion to any other character which you've created a retargeting profile for as well. If you do this, however, you'll get a warning message stating that there are missing animated joints when applying to that rig. Don't worry about this as the overall result won't be affected by the missing joints. You can also use the sequencer in Machinima to apply the motion to other characters and determine the timing of their playback in the timeline. Here I'm just adding these 3 USD models to the sequencer and deleting the motions from their respective tracks. Again, I'll follow the same process of bringing in the motion I want to use, right clicking it in the stage, and then proceeding to add the dummy skeleton as a retargeting reference. From there, you can then apply the motion at different times for different characters in the sequencer and play back to see the result. You can also export characters from Character Creator using the same process as well. Start by creating the retarget setup from the animation retargeting window, and then you'll be able to apply the motions from Actor Core to that character as well.
If you're looking to speed up your animation workflow, iClone is the ideal tool for you. With iClone 8, you can automatically blend any of your actor core clips together simply and smoothly with a few clicks for flawless transitions. For actor core characters, you can also create endless color and material variations from a single model. These models are also fully compatible with iClone's impressive arsenal of facial animation tools, from facial mocap and keyframe editing for blend shapes to detailed lip sync animation. That's it for this video guys, thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other tutorials for Omniverse and ActorCore as well as our forums at forum.reillusion.com. I'll see you in the next video.